G'day, I'm Gail, and welcome to day six of our decluttering challenge here at Church for Life Clothing Collectors. Congratulations, ladies, we're almost there. At the end of today, we'll have done an hour and a half of decluttering. So let's grab our timers, 15 minutes starts now. Today, we're gonna to focus on our accessories, those things that go along with our fashion choices. And often when we have a declutter, we forget about them and they sit there for a long time. So we're gonna stop and take a moment to go through those today. Shoes are often the easiest kids shoes. They grow out of them so fast. Sometimes they don't even get to wear them barely and they're an easy one to pop in the bag. As adults, sometimes our life moves on and we're not doing the high heel thing. We're not wearing as many joggers, whatever it is. And they need to go on, but they get lost at the bottom of the wardrobe. And I can tell you that shoes do deteriorate over time. So whether you wear them or you don't, they will deteriorate. So if you're not wearing them, pass them on while they still have some life in them so somebody else can use them. We're gonna move on to hats. So you might be a hat person to have lots or you might not be a hat person, but sometimes we get extra hats. Maybe we've gone on holidays and forgotten a hat. We buy another one or we get given a hat as a promo and they uh, start taking up lots of room. So let's take a couple of minutes, go through our hats. The same with our scarves. Um, often they get given as gifts. They go with this year's fashion and not further. Maybe you wanna keep less. If you like jean, you always have too many scarves. Handbags, next one we're gonna have a little look at. So again, great Christmas presents and maybe you've got one from last Christmas that's sitting in the wardrobe you've never used. I'm not a beige person, whoever gave this to me got it a little wrong, sit my wardrobe for a few more years or I can take it today in the bag. And again, massive stuff. How many handbags can you use at once? And even if you're a handbag person, there might be one or two that you can let go. Remember the other day I took this dress, this dress, and I decided I wasn't gonna wear it anymore. Often what happens when we do that is we forget the accessories. And with this dress, I often would wear a red belt. And here you go, it's got caught in the wardrobe on the hanger with, and the dress has gone, but the belt hasn't. So when we declutter, we need to remember to add the accessories. And if I'm clever, I can put them in the same bag and maybe somebody in Africa can put them together as a lovely um, new outfit for them. Another thing that we often forget to declutter is the jewelry that goes with the outfit. So I've had this necklace for a while, used to have a lovely uh, winter jumper I used to wear it with, but I haven't had that jumper for a few years, need to let it go. And again, I don't have pierced ears, but occasionally I get, get given pierced earrings and they need to go in the bag. And as we're doing this, we might find some really fun old fashioned. Can you remember these ladies when we all used to wear these belts? I think it was about late 90s, um, early 2000s. But I can tell you, I do not have the clothes I used to wear with that back in, in the day. Um, so I can pass that on and somebody who's into that style can find them and have them part of their life. So today we're gonna do heads, shoulders, knees and toes. Well, not quite. We're gonna do hats, scarves and necklaces, bracelets, belts, shoes and bags, accessories. So we've got about 11 or 12 minutes left. So let's head out into our wardrobes and get rid of the accessories in the bag and I'll see you tomorrow for our last day. Keep your comments coming. Really appreciate you joining the challenge.